Well, there's so much to talk about, but we just have to take a little detour today because as I was checking out of the hotel, I picked up a USA Today newspaper and carried it with me. I was reading the article, the headline screams, UN escalates climate concerns. Well, it caught my attention because I've been following this for a long time. Uh, The UN has an agenda. They want us to be alarmed about the climate because the theory is that we all breathe the same air, we all drink the same water, it doesn't stop at international borders, and therefore we must have a system of international law to address climate change. In St. Louis, Missouri, I saw a big billboard. Have you checked your carbon footprint lately? Here's what the plan is. The globalists, the one-worlders, the one-world government people, here's what they want to do. They want every person on this planet to have their own carbon footprint, and you only are allowed so many carbon emissions. You exceed that, and you have to purchase additional carbon emissions from a country where they don't have very many carbon emissions because they're underdeveloped. This is a very slick way to bring about wealth redistribution, the dream of Karl Marx. It's global Marxism in action. That's what this is really all about. But I want you to hear some excerpts from this article. I was amazed. Listen to this. The article is entitled, UN Escalates Climate Concerns. And then it says, subtopic, every corner of the globe is affected new study says climate change is affecting all parts of the globe and the gap between the latest science on climate change and government action to cut greenhouse emissions remains large according to a sweeping UN report out today one of the biggest reports ever issued now let me pause to remind you that all of these scientists that work for the International Climate Change Commission from the United Nations, they all get their funding from these international organizations. If they don't keep up the pretense of climate change, their funding goes away and they have to go find a real job. So it's always in their interest to claim that there's this mysterious boogeyman out there called climate change. For a while they called it global warming. But someone happened to notice there was no global warming for the last 16 years. Zero, nada, none. Yet, no global warming in 16 years. And they said, you know, this global warming thing isn't working very well. Because every time we talk about it, the temperatures dive, and so we're starting to become the laughing stock. So they said, let's just change. Let, let's change our theory to climate change. And I, when I first heard it, I thought, how dumb do they think we are? Of course, climate changes. It'll be different tomorrow than it is today. Climate is always changing. But there's a, a theory in world politics that says if you repeat a big enough lie long enough, people will believe it. Well, that's what's going on with this. Climate change, climate change, climate change. You're alarmed. The world is coming to an end. The sky is falling. Climate change, climate change, climate change. And on and on we go. Now, why am I talking about this today? Because climate change is the horse. Originally, it was global warming, but when that didn't work, they changed to climate change. It's the horse that they intend to ride to a one-world governmental system because since we all breathe the same air, we all drink the same water, the only way to control these things is through international law, binding international law, that will control the global emissions of every business, of every home, of every individual. That's what they plan to do, is to be able to monitor all of our carbon footprint. Now, under the Kyoto Treaty, once you reach a certain level, the the level of your allotment, then you have to start purchasing those. They're called carbon credits. They're actually traded in Europe right now. Well, they're trying to bring the same system to the United States of America right now. And it's all a huge Marxist 
wealth redistribution scheme. Wealth redistribution was one of the main planks in the original communist platform a hundred years or more, more ago. So we're now watching this being implemented all around us. And here today's USA Today newspaper is pumping this propaganda like there's no tomorrow. And it's pure propaganda. Now let me just tell you, there is no such thing as global warming. It's a hoax. You say, I don't believe you can say that. I'm, I, how in the world could you say that? Well, let me tell you how I know for sure. I had to write an article for In Time Magazine. It was going to every senator, every congressman, and I had to know what I was talking about. So I kept digging and digging, and after 60-some hours of research, all of a sudden it became so crystal clear to me because I found out that they have dug down through the ice in Greenland and they have found farms that were being farmed a thousand years ago that today are under 12 feet of ice, which obviously means it was much warmer in Greenland a thousand years ago than it is now. And yet they're trying to tell us we're in danger of global warming. We're not in danger at all, zero. All these people have a vested interest. They're making their livelihood off of this myth of climate change, global warming, whatever you choose to call it. Do you realize I actually saw copies of Time magazine in 1975 warning of the coming ice age. The temperatures had dipped a little bit. Oh, we're getting ready to go into the, to an ice age. Now we're talking about reputable publications, USA Today. We're talking about Time magazine. Let's look a little bit of what they're saying here. Uh, it's talking about the, these prestigious scientists, the world's best scientists on climate change. Well, these are the same scientists. Remember at Copenhagen when they were going to gather together there and sign a world agreement? Three weeks before then, somebody hacked the emails of all these scientists and put them out there on the Internet. And we saw such things as we must hide the decline here because there was a decline in temperatures when they wanted there to be an increase in temperatures because the decline in temperatures was destroying all their data. Now, beyond that, it come to find out that all the reporting stations, many of them were skewed. Everything was being rigged, and they actually boycotted some scientists that did not believe in their global warming theory, and they tried to keep them from being published in major environmental publications. Now, I'm not, I'm telling you this happened. Some people lost their jobs over this. But we forgot all about that now. So here we go. We're going to recycle all this old, tired hoax, this propaganda all over again, that the world is in danger of climate change. We're not in danger at all. It's always been cold in the winter and hot in the summer and sometimes in between. We're not in danger at all. It's a hoax. There is nothing to it. But here it is on the front page of what may be the most widely distributed newspaper in America, and most people read it and take it for law and gospel. Let's look at some more things that they say here. Okay. Now, in recent decades, changes in climate have caused impacts on continents and across the oceans. Is that true or not true? Well, of course it's true. If you have a change in climate and you have a rainy season, yeah, it's going to cause some flooding. We've always had it, always, since the beginning of time. Then it goes on to say, according to a landmark report, landmark report, must be very important, released today in Yokohama, Japan, by the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, the world's most comprehensive climate change report ever created. Wow. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? Even though it's all false. It's all false. It's all a hoax. There's nothing to it. The devastating, devastating effects of recent extreme events and extreme weather disasters also prove, oh, we're going to... We're going to say we got proof here that our ability to adapt to a changing climate is low, according to the report. How'd you do this last winter? It was pretty chilly here in Dallas, more than usual. 
But we sort of adapted to it. We made it through. We muddled through without one of the scientists from the international... Um, let me see what's the fancy name they give to this thing. Um, the Intergovernmental intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Without one of those people, we made it through the winter, as all the rest of you did. Winters come, winters go. Do you know I remember a winter in 1987, I believe it was, I was living in Indiana at the time. It never got up to zero for 19 straight days. You talk about unrelenting cold it came at you like gangbusters day after day after day after day. But it moderated out. The next year we had a lot of snow. And then everything went away. And for long we had a few winters with very little snow. It was climate change. Sure, there's climate change. Always has been. Always will be. But now then, they're trying to use that as a whip to herd all of us into a one-world governmental system. Because they think we can change the weather. Well, we have really gotten a high opinion of ourselves. We can change the weather? I don't think so. I don't think so. They say, but carbon emissions are bringing about c climate change. Is that true? Question. Carbon emissions have risen dramatically over the last 16 years. How much is the temperature risen? Now, the theory is carbon emissions go up, the temperature goes up, you have global warming. So we've had quite a climb in, car in carbon emissions over the last 16 years. How much has it driven up the temperature? Zip. Zero. None. There's no truth to the story at all. All these people have to keep contending this because they are continually getting grants from all these big corporations, and that's the way they make their livelihood. So they've got to always write to propitiate the myth. See, I don't think that could be happening. Well, you know, people believe the earth was flat up until about four or 500 years ago. I mean, they perpetuated that myth for... 6,000 years of human history. Same thing here. Climate change, yes, there's climate change. There always has been. There always will be. It's the way God put the whole thing together, and it works wonderful. It's amazing. Nevertheless, I want to make sure we talk about this because the real purpose is to herd us into a one world government.